Welcome to this presentation for the Bionic X4. Here is the Bionic X4, fully assembled, ready to go. To assemble the unit, it is quite simple. The smartphone goes into the top bracket here. When putting the smartphone into the bracket, be sure that you can see the camera lens here. The battery here simply connects to the bottom of the unit. Here. Push in the plug and you're connected. There's a little mark on this connector here in the very back. Line up the mark with the back of the unit and it'll slide right in. You cannot insert it falsely. So, to begin, I'm going to push on the Bionic X4 app icon. Here I have a menu. On the top of the menu will show a compass and then you will see the target and everything in the smartphone. At this moment in time, I'm going to turn on the Bionic X4. After I turn on the Bionic X4, what's going to happen is in the very top left hand corner, a Bluetooth icon is going to appear. This Bluetooth icon means that there is a connection between the smartphone and the Bionic X4. To begin with our menu functions, we have a multifunction button here. By pushing this button, you are selecting various menus. For example, we will start here with our first menu, which is the Bionic scan. The next one is the Ionic. Then we have our LED light switch, and then the laser switch. To activate any of these functions, you'll need to push the green button. I will select now the Bionic Scan, and what I'd like to do is show you how to calibrate for the Bionic Mode. To calibrate for the Bionic Mode, you see the contacts here on the grip. It is very important that you have a good connection with these contacts. You do not want to have a connection that is too tight or that is too loose. One of the ways I explain this when I'm conducting training is simply imagine that you are holding the, child, uh, the hand of a child. And when you're doing that, you're not going to have such a tight grip that you're going to hurt the child, but you're not going to have such a loose grip that the child can run away. With that being said, I'm going to have here in the palm of my hand and through the connections a grip. Everything must connect. If my fingers come off, I will get a false reading. Once I'm connected, here's my calibration knob right here. I will turn the calibration knob to come into the desired range. To begin my calibration, I'm going to push the green button. At this moment in time, I'm going to hear this beeping sound. In the display, it's going to say calibration, or actually an abbreviation for calibration, and I'm going to see a number. This number currently is a 255. The number is too high. If I turn the calibration knob to the other end, now I see, in this example, 81. This number is too low. But as you can now hear, there is no more beeping. When it is very high, then you can hear the beeping. This is a warning that it is too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this calibration knob here. One of the ways that I'm going to do this is I'm going to have a grip around the top of the knob. This is a little trick that, I've, that I use in order to better calibrate it. So I can turn it just so that it becomes quiet. And then once it's quiet, I want to put it in the range between 220 and 254. If my grip is lost in the process, then you're going to hear the signal. And the way this bionic works, it uses your own internal bioenergy. And in using your bioenergy, 
It is like the old-fashioned television where you had the antennas coming off the top. When you grab hold of the antenna with your hand, now you had a super picture. The minute you let go, the picture went bad. Same concept here. It is using your body as part of the antenna. This way we can better find the lost gold. To do this one more time, very quick review. Bionic scan start, push green button. Grab hold of your grip. Turn your calibration knob here so that you have a value of between 220 and 255 or 254. Once you achieve this particular value, push the green button. If you have a gold target, it'll say bionic scan, yes. In the display here on the camera or on the smartphone, you will have, when you say yes, a symbol here of gold coins. To take this picture of the gold coins, you're going to push the multi-function button here, for example, and it's going to give you a picture. Now you would theoretically move to your next position about 500 meters away, do it again, click it again, and then you'll have your second picture. Now you have two images. They will be here. This way you can create the triangulation to locate a to locate your target. Once you don't need the pictures, click again and they will be gone. That is how you use the bionic mode. To locate long-term buried gold, what you're going to want to do is to select your ionic mode. To select your ionic mode, simply push on the multi-function button until you see in this, the, the display, ionic scan, start. In order to use the ionic mode, you are going to need a piece of sample gold. Here, I have my wedding ring. I'm going to set my wedding ring, oh, a couple meters away, set it on the ground. And I'm going to make sure that to my back is north. So, if I'm looking at the north here, in this direction, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to push the green start button. For this particular function, I do not need to have my hand on the grips or contacts. What I need to do is I need to focus on the gold, okay? Once I focus on the gold, I'm going to then wait for these numbers here, the calibration numbers, to remain consistent and even for approximately five seconds. So let me do this here. I will line up on my target and as I see here I have a value that is consistent. I will push the green button and here when I'm on my target it says yes. It means I have calibrated. At this moment I'm going to turn around and I'm going to look from the southwest to the southeast in this 90 degree pattern. I cannot go back again to the north, I cannot go to the east, I cannot go to the west. I cannot go up and down. I can only go in a level form from the southwest to the southeast. When it sees a target, the same thing is going to appear on the screen. You will have the coins and the display here will say yes. The proper movement is consistent and even. You do not want to move it like this, back and forth, nice and smooth, all the way throughout the spectrum, watching your display. And here, it doesn't seem that I have any gold. Once you are done, you push the green button and you are ready to start again. So to recap this one more time, I have my gold target I set on the ground. 
I select ionic scan start. I push the button. I wait for my values to become the same. Once my values are steady, I'm going to push the green button on my target. And once it says yes in the screen, then I know it is calibrated for the gold. I will move from the southwest to the southeast, and I will move consistently and slowly throughout to see where our target is. If I get the target and it says yes, what I want to do is on the multi-function button, I will click it to get a picture here. This will be my first direction. Then I will move to the second location, recalibrate the unit, and then obtain my second image. Once I am complete with the unit, I push the green button here to stop the function. That is the basic use and operation of the Bionic X4. At OKM, we really work to do everything within our means and power to satisfy our customers and to give our customers support. If you need assistance or you need help, you can find our telephone numbers on our internet page. This way, we can give you help and assistance and also per email of your questions and concerns. Thank you very much.